Triple negative breast cancer represents roughly 15 to 20 percent of all the breast cancer cases that we see. Triple negative breast cancer is called that because it lacks estrogen receptor, progesterone receptor, and HER2. Breast cancer isn't one disease, it's actually a family of diseases, and triple negative is one of the subtypes of breast cancer. It doesn't have any of the proteins that we have targeted drugs for, so right now the only treatment we have for triple negative breast cancer is chemotherapy. Nancy Blockzena is the honorary founder of the Triple Negative Breast Cancer Foundation. Nancy was 35 when she was diagnosed with triple negative breast cancer. She was young, vibrant, beautiful, a mother, a wife, and a daughter. She was also a wonderful friend. It was her friendship that inspired us to start the Triple Negative Breast Cancer Foundation. When Nancy was diagnosed with triple negative breast cancer, we wanted to do everything that we could to help her. We tried to research the disease and we were frustrated when we were able to find very little information. It seemed to us that there wasn't a lot of information available and even less being done about this disease. We decided that we, Nancy's friends, would form together and found the Triple Negative Breast Cancer Foundation to give a voice to women suffering from this disease. We've been very, very fortunate in the amount of support that we've received, not only from our community, but from the medical community as well. When we first decided to launch this foundation, we started reading articles about triple negative breast cancer just to familiarize ourselves with the terminology and the issues. And then we went ahead and contacted doctors like Lisa Carey, Eric Weiner, George Sledge. We didn't even realize that they were giants in this field. They just wanted to help. They felt, each and every one of them felt that this was an idea whose time had come. There are two very special populations of women who seem to develop triple negative breast cancer more commonly. One is women who have what are called BRCA1 mutations. These are inherited abnormalities where breast cancer runs in the family and where there's an abnormal gene that is passed on from a parent to a child. The other population, and it's a larger population, that triple negative breast cancer affects are women of African American descent. And those women seem to develop triple negative breast cancer more commonly than white women. And this is particularly a problem in young African American women. My name is Fern Dixon. I'm 43 years old. And I was diagnosed with triple negative breast cancer on April 11th, 2006. I was told by my oncologist that um, since I did have this very aggressive form of cancer that he really wanted to be aggressive with my treatment so that there would be hopes of a possible cure. I had six rounds of TAC chemotherapy, which is Taxotere, Adriamycin, and Cytoxin. After that, I had a lumpectomy and radiation. I was completed with my treatment January 2007, but in I believe April or May 2007, I started having symptoms again, and it was found out that I had metastasis to my lungs. Since then, I had to start treatment, and about every three months, I've had progression. So I've had progression um, to my, to lots of lymph nodes, to my liver, and most recently to my brain. I was told that I would be having chemotherapy for the rest of my life. So you know, I'm just going through the treatments right now, doing the best that I can under the circumstances. One of the things that we have found in our work is that women of African ancestry tend to be more negatively impacted by triple negative breast cancer. Any research to understand the causes and the best ways to treat triple negative breast cancer in African American women is going to benefit all women. One of our missions is to discover and deliver the cures and these women at the Triple Negative Breast Cancer Foundation are truly making a difference and they're about to make an even larger difference. Once we started the Triple Negative Breast Cancer Foundation, we decided that we needed a website. So we started the TNBCFoundation.org. And when we first started the website, we did it mostly for fundraising purposes. We could not believe the overwhelming response we got from people that had the disease. So once we started hearing from them, we wanted to do something to help them, which is why we started a forum on our website. And now we have almost 500 users that talk to each other multiple times a day, ask each other many questions, 
bring this information back to their oncologists, ask each other about clinical trials, about what they're doing, how they shave their head. It's unbelievable the information they're getting from each other, and that is something that we're very happy that we were able to give to these women. This is a very important subtype of breast cancer. While it's only 10 to 20 percent of all breast cancer, that still means that somewhere in the range of 20 to 30,000 women each year in the United States alone are developing triple negative breast cancer. Um, and this is, at least at the moment, one of the most worrisome types of breast cancer. While we do have a number of treatments that can be used for triple negative breast cancer, treatments like chemotherapy, we desperately need better treatments because not all women respond to those, the treatments that we presently have. My hopes for the future in terms of triple negative breast cancer care is that when any woman from any walk of life, any race, any age is diagnosed with it, her oncologist or medical professional is armed with the information that she needs to get proper treatment because triple negative breast cancer does not discriminate. The Triple Negative Breast Cancer Foundation is the first charity that is focusing specifically on this important subtype of breast cancer. In contrast to other charities involved with breast cancer, the Triple Negative Breast Cancer's sole focus uh, is finding new treatments and new therapies for this particularly dangerous form of breast cancer. A few years ago, there were no targeted treatments for breast cancer. Now there are many. Unfortunately, there are none for triple negative breast cancer. We're confident, however, that that can change in the very near future. With your help, we can make a difference and save lives.